Researchers in Germany say they have proof that a prehistoric teenager had parents who were members of two different species of pre-human. Scientists used a DNA from 90,000 years ago. It's in a bone fragment that was found in Siberia. The tests found that while the girl's mother was Neanderthal, her father came from a recently discovered species. It's the age-old story, really. Charlie Dagada <laughs> is following this story in London. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, John. Now, we all know about the Neanderthals, but what about the Denisovans? Not so much, but we now know that they not only coexisted with the Neanderthals, but apparently got up to a lot more than that. He's the original guy from the wrong side of the tracks, or at least the other side of this Siberian cave, where the tiny fossils from his 13-year-old daughter were discovered. A Neanderthal Denisovan love child, a human hybrid. National Geographic science editor is Maya Wehas. We've long known that these kind of mixing happen. There's been hints in both ancient and modern DNA that suggest that our ancient ancestors uh, kind of interbred. But this is actually like catching it in the act. The DNA was extracted from a quarter-sized bone fragment believed to have come from the teenager who died around 90,000 years ago. Genetic testing revealed a 50-50 split. Her mother was a Neanderthal who inhabited the western part of Eurasia, but her father was from that relatively unknown branch of the prehistoric family, the Denisova, named after those Siberian caves. The results proved that despite their genetic differences, members of the two groups mated and raised children. One of the study's authors, biologist Savante Pebo, says that's huge. I was extremely surprised. I was sure they had screwed something up in the laboratory for the <laughs> longest time until they proved to me that they hadn't. Unlike the Neanderthals, little is known about what the Denisovans look like. All we know about them was extracted by scientists from these tiny tooth and bone fragments. We do know they were genetically linked close enough with the Neanderthals so that rather than rivals, they were more like kissing cousins. Now, the author told us the fact that they were able to just stumble across a direct offspring suggests our ancestral cousins probably got up to a, a lot more hanky-panky than previously thought. Nora? Hanky-panky from Charlie Daggett in London. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Always interesting to learn about our ancestral history. Yeah. Yeah, especially mm -hmm. something as powerful as that. And the yeah. Denisovans. The Denisovans. Yeah. You I have to know. go back to your 23andMe and see if you have, exactly. you have yeah. some Neanderthal, right? Some Siberian in me. Who knew? <laughs>